large, there was a huge harbor in there. Oh, and they're so building on homes. But they're not building it into the wetlands, they're building on both sides, okay. off of PCH. They put in a new road. Right before you get into Huntington Beach, right before the pier. Hi. It's Christmas Eve, 2007. <laughs> Yeah, I think I saw a story about how they're yeah, We have lots of them coming here. Well, you know, it was really weird. I was driving down this for 10 years. Okay. Well, what's going on here? Okay, where's Catherine? Is that Monica? Yes. Hi. How old are you today? 10. Wow. What day is tomorrow? Christmas. Are you looking forward to it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> now you got your two all ready. <laughs> Okay. Okay, what do we, so do you spray? You First spray you gotta get your pans ready. First you gotta let it sit all out all night. And then, and then <laughs> we mean, gotta melt out, some butter. Okay. Wash our hands. Monica, you wash your hands yet? Huh? Did you wash your hands yet? Good idea, wash your hands cook. first. Hello. Hey, Hi. Catherine. Hi. How old are you? Ten. What day is tomorrow? Christmas. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. What's your favorite color? Red. And, okay. Who's your favorite, who's your favorite actor? Are you, are you going to help with this product project here? Yeah. What, what are you going to work on? What are you making here? Stick your rolls. Do you see soap back there? So you got to put brown sugar in this bowl, is that right? Right. Can I use a knife? Mm. 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 Put it in here, and you get it softened up. So it's powdery. Yeah. Mine. Into each of the... You hear that? Soft. Into... No, that's... This oven X. In the box. That's normal. Not, not, it's not normal, but it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Into each one of the uh, cupcake tins, we're going to put a little butter. Did we mush it up with this? Okay. A teaspoon of the brown sugar and two of the pecans. Okay, you need to do, you need to get your what cheese ready here? What's the one? Yeah. What cheese? Okay, you take this. It's all pans. They can do it. Not too much. Do two mm -hmm. more here. Okay, now do your other one. You're going to make a dozen, and Monica makes a dozen. Okay, let me do a tiny bit more here just to make sure it gets on the edges. And then, Scott, are you making one? Sure. Okay, you do yours. Okay, bring bring the brown sugar and over to your pans. Okay, that's good enough. Now you put, you put brown sugar in first. Like this. Just like a just, spoonful? Just see how much? Just into each one of your pans. In a spoon. And Catherine, you can start by putting this in. In mine? Set it down. It's kind of heavy. Aren't you supposed to put that in? No. First? Let, this can go first. Oh, okay. Into each one of your pans. The two of those make the sticky stuff. Okay. No, you don't have to do that. It'll it'll soften up when you get your your biscuits in there. Okay, now you put two in. You put two of these in. One, two. Okay. And then you can put your butter in after Catherine gets done. It doesn't matter what order you do it in. <clears throat> do 
you remember where you got the recipe? I think it's on the wrapper, as I recall. We're probably the only ones that have ever used that recipe then, right? What do you think? It's, uh, I've never made it in Lowe's. Hmm. And what do you mean in Lowe's? Because it's Lowe's like that, and you can put them into a pan and bake them like that oh, and make Lowe's right. like that. <laughs> I've never done that. So I put a spoonful? Uh-huh. Like, how much of this? That much? Uh-huh, that's good. A little more than. <clears throat> yeah, make it a, a good <clears throat> scoop of brown yeah, a full, sugar. A full scoop. Okay. There, more like that. <clears throat> Go back and add a little a half each of these. <clears throat> now you, you get ready to start your. I haven't brushed my teeth yet. I probably have a big old pepperoni stuck between my teeth or a black olive. Enough of everything, it looks like. Do you need more butterscotch? Okay, lay it down there the long ways, this way. Good. Okay. Well, now let's you don't want to use the new rolling pin? Yeah, we've got a new rolling pin. You want to use it? Sure. Okay. Oh. I'll get it. Here it is. Monica. Do I roll it down? <laughs> it's heavy. So do I start rolling it? Well, you roll it the long way first. Farting. First, put it over here and roll it to get a little flour on your rolling pin. And then you want to roll it so it's this long and about this wide. Ryan, you're missing the secret family recipe. Is it really secret anymore? Wonky wants to put it on YouTube. Say we're going on YouTube. Okay, right. There's a pair of pants hanging on the closet on my door, coming yeah. into my room. Take them and try them on, will you? Pair of pants on the closet. On the it door. looks like a bean. Up, you'll see them as you're going to my room. Pickle. Go in the bathroom and try them on. Put that down. Let me see how they fit. Right. You pushing down? You turn them away, but I want to see how they look on Brian. Can turn someone give me a stool? You're doing really, really well. You just need to flatten them out and get mm -hmm. it. Are we going to make them into little balls? Yep. Cool. We're going to make them into slices. Now, Bruce, got them uh -huh. over here. It has a little We're going to take some of this butter. We're going to take some of this butter. Ew, am I touching it? And Did you wash your hand? There. Yes. <laughs> Let go. And you're going to smear it on here. All of it? Okay. All Just that it? much? That much and just kind of smear it around. Oh, wait a minute. I need the, the cinnamon up there. It's in back of. Ting, 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 and cinnamon. Did you get it? Yeah. Very good. Okay, we need some. You got it smeared around? Take some of the brown sugar and put on there. And then we're going to put a little. How much? Well, take it with your hand and, and sprinkle it around like this. And the ones that are kind of hard, you need break to up. break them up. Yeah. I 
and bring them out to the edge so that the, the roll that is weighing at, at the edge here will get something. Okay, now a little cinnamon. Okay, here's the one that has the sprinkle part. So just sprinkle it So across. just sprinkle it around. Not too much though. Keep it moving. Yeah. You can squeeze it a little bit. Or shake it back to book. There. Good. Okay, now you gotta roll it up. Starting at your end. Okay, now you got to figure out where the cor where the middle is because you know, you're gonna cut it. Where do you think? No. Let's move up a little bit first, yeah, huh? Yeah. About there. Snippy, snippy. Okay. Now you got it in half. Now you're gonna eat. Well, take then. each take each one of these and cut it in half. Okay, that's good. Just press right down on it. You can't saw it very well. Just press right down. Good. Okay. Now quick. Just push it apart. Good. That's good. Yep, cut more. Yeah. Okay, now do the same thing here. About ha half. Now this is kind of little down here, so make it a little bit there. Okay. Now you got to cut each one of those into three. Into three. Uh huh. So you got to do some figuring. Just make a yeah, make a mark first before you cut it. Good. What do you think? It's a little big though. He needs more sticky rolls in his Those were diet. grandpa's. We used to go square dancing. And that's what he wore with the boots. I don't know what happened to the boots that he used to wear. Do you want them or not? I mean, I, I'll They're too big for you, aren't they? I mean, they? I could probably go on some of them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, go, put, go hang them back on the hanger. <laughs> Got big pants, Diana. Yeah, he wore those when we went square dancing. And he had black boots. They're probably in the closet here somewhere. Okay, are you ready to start on yours? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do them right here, huh? Okay. You don't need a board. Okay. Just push down. <coughs> I know. Let's do it here first and then turn it over. And then you can start rolling it out to the size. like roll it out? Well, you're going to be rolling at both directions. Yeah. Yeah. How big should it be? Whoa, that was weird. How you doing, kid? <laughs> it's long. <laughs> You're doing very well. Okay. Now, keep your flower up here if you can. And keep it straight. Now, make it a little wider that way. Okay, Grandma. I have my clippers. Okay, you're ready to put them in your pan. There's your pan. Pick up one. Like Put it down in the pan. This way. Right, that way. And I kind of press them like that. Okay, you go ahead.
kind of even so that when you start rolling it up. Now take the, yep. the spoon and start slathering the butter on. Take the back of it, yeah. Good. sugar and the cinnamon next. Because there's, there's nothing to do for a while. Because there's bacon. Do they have to rise? Is that what they're doing? Yes. You so how long, do you, how long do you let them rise? Until they've risen. Oh. <laughs> until, until they've come up far enough so that they're, they're the way you want them. Yeah. So yeah. we just let them sit? So they're growing yeah. right now. They're growing. They're alive. It's the, yeast, the yeast inside is making them grow yeah. to the edge because you're going to have one roll that's going to be at each end of the whole thing. And you want that roll to have as much as everything else. So bring it down to this end too. Yeah, just smear it around. That's good. Okay. Now put your brown sugar. You can do it with your hands. Yeah. You're gonna put your hands. Pretty Come thick. on, take up a bunch. Yeah. See a bunch like this. And the cinnamon is here too. If it gets too hard, you can stick it back in the microwave and it gets soft again. You used to have to put an apple in with the brown sugar. That was, or a piece of bread. Uh, but you'd have to do it overnight or something. And it would absorb the moisture into the brown sugar and make it softer. But now you just put it in the microwave. All right, does that look good? Is that good? That's pretty good. Now a little cinnamon. Sprinkle the cinnamon um, on. How much? Oh, just sprinkle it along. Yeah. Doing good. Turn it oh, the other way and it'll kind of help. Ooh. Whoop. Now they were making sticky buns last night on the television on the cook, cooking channel. Okay. And the guy used, now start rolling it up. Mm. The guy was using just cinnamon. He didn't, sh but the gal put the brown sugar on. <coughs> and then I was surprised to see how they make sticky buns because they make a sauce that they put in the bottom of a baking and put in a whole bunch of them. And she put cream and honey oh. and brown sugar and what else? There was something else. How's it going in here? Doing good. Uh, oh, you haven't done it. Oh, yeah. Okay, now you, let me get you a knife. Or you want a, something plastic or something to, like to cut on the tabletop? Oh. You can do the butter knife. Well, don't, just don't cut too, down too hard. Like there. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. No, and each of those in half. There. Mm -hmm. Good. Now this is kind of small here, so make this a little right longer. <clears throat> now each one of those into three, and make the indentation before you cut it. So you kind of make it deeper there. Like that. Like that, Dad? Yep. 
and then cut it. No, you put them in here. No, no, no. Oh. Cut side up. Oh, okay. And kind of give them a little push. That's going to be a nice big one. Okay. Now, your dad's over here working. Making the making the biscuits. No, they're not biscuits. Making the sticky rolls. That 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 makes them real good on top, and it also fixes them so that they won't stick to the wax paper. Because we're going to put wax paper over on the top. That'll help them rise better, maybe more quickly. Whatever. Is this usually a longer process if you were doing it? No, this is exactly the way I'd do it, only I'd just be standing there doing it three times. But with the rise, it sounds like the rising, you're, with the wax paper, you're trying to speed up the rising? Or? I, I just... Uh, Should I do Monica's too? Is that going to make it a yeah, little warmer? Go ahead and do Monica's too. Um, when, after I do what Catherine is doing and just pat them with butter on the top. I just let them rise and, and just kind of watch them. And some of them get ready before the others do. And then I start baking them. And I, I stick uh, uh, aluminum foil underneath each one of them so that if they run over they won't make too much a mess. Tell Monica that you've taken care of hers. And then we bake them. That's for when you burn yourself, we know what to do for you. Um, we bake them at, uh -oh. I bake one down below here, the big one, and the other two up here. And it's 350 for about 25 minutes. Do you push them down? Yeah, I just give them a little push. Like that. A 
I've been me meaning to learn this for years, Mom. Yeah, really? Because <laughs> they're my favorite. I didn't know anybody was interested. It's part of the family heritage. Right. Well, they're just so easy that it just doesn't seem like you have to learn it. It's a different that, generation. And then you kind of do this. Okay. I'm wondering. <coughs> and then somebody does the cleanup. I'll do that. Wash off the the breadboards into the sink and run the water. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, Why some, not? Somebody won't let me. Who's the one that has to deal with the plumber when he comes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we usually get the plumber out about Thanksgiving. Now we've done pretty well this year. <clears throat> Max, we have a dog at home. <laughs> we have three yeah, guinea pigs, a rabbit, a lizard, and two birds. Which one of those would you like to play with? Give me the creeps. Did you see that yeah. guy with the bleached hair? He was running out of guns and started a revolution. I saw the girl he brought along. No. Can I take a picture of him again? Way out here. Hi. Come on, let's get this over. Oh, okay. We're waiting for your stuff in the warehouse out there. Max, but the dog, our two guinea pigs. We've got a, f the guinea pig that we gave away is back because they're out of town. And the rabbit that it lives with, two birds, and a horny toad. Oh, because it, people are out of town? This it one family. Oh, okay. And the rabbit doesn't know that the oh, guinea yeah. pig. The, it turns out the rabbit's a girl, uh -huh. but she humps the, <laughs> the boy <laughs> guinea pig. Uh, it's, a, it's a girl that thinks it's a boy, yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> Very odd. Very odd. I think it's just a domination thing. Yeah, it could be. Mm -hmm. Wants to overpower the other one. Tell them the joke that Frank Trotter told a story yesterday about uh, a young boy who was going to be in a, in a class in the church pageant or something. Well, and it wasn't a joke. It apparently really happened. Okay. He, it was his, his, he had one line. He was to say, for behold... Uh, unto you a child is born and his name shall be called Emmanuel. And that was a little too much for him and so go ahead. Well, do you, oh. 
So, so the play comes and he stands up there and he can't remember his line. He keeps trying and trying and other people around him are saying, you know, do they weren't giving him the line. So finally he just, <coughs> he, he, he pointed down at Mary and he goes, Zep, you're pregnant. <laughs> to make it easier for him. Yeah. <laughs> I heard a joke about the, the three wise men ride into Bethlehem and they find the Joseph and Mary with the the child at the manger and they the first one gets off his camel with the uh, offerings of gold gold pieces and he presents it to the child and the second the second uh, wise man gets off his camel with the frankincense and myrrh and he gets down and he carries it and presents it to the to the newborn child. And the third one, he has the silks and the the you know uh, linen, the linens and everything. And he's gets off his camel and the the long linen, the long silks that are draped over his arm. He trips on it and he goes, Jesus Christ! <laughs> and Mary says, Hey, let's use that. It's better than uh, Emmanuel. <laughs> Good story. Jesus. <laughs> Crimeys. Oh, Jesus Crimeys. She's so named that. Okay. Hey, no, we'll be real careful. Let's see. That one. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. You want to turn on the light? Okay, we're gonna put uh, aluminum foil underneath. Just. In case, might not work. Oh, let's see. We were gonna put this one in the bottom. You wanna? We'll put these on top. You don't care. He doesn't get any. Come get some. Fight, fight, fight. Gotta do, the, gotta do the kung fu sound. Hiya! Kung fu fighting. Wait, you're supposed to do it like uh, uh, Austin Powers. You're supposed to go, judo chop. <laughs> Ow, I hurt. Max. Max. I don't know. They've been pretty good lately. I don't know that that, that doesn't fit. Well, they sure puffed up. Well, this one I put next to... Uh, on the door here the last these last ten minutes. Come on, open Hi. Got it? I just want one under the big one. That's already is. Is that it? yours? Is it wide enough? Three fifty. Three fifty. How many batches do we make? Wait a minute. Let me pull it out. Okay. Set it for three dozen. Twenty-five minutes. Here. Ah. Keep going. No, the other way. Oh, is she? Are they done already? No, no, the other way. Oh. Oh, I see. 25. There we go. That's 15. Oh, really? Hmm? This clock goes backwards. That's 30, 35, 40. Look at where 20 and 30 are and go in between 20 and 30. Uh, oh. That's good. I see. Okie dokie. All right. Then we'll see what happens.
at the 350 on each of them. See, 350 for the lower one, 350 for the upper one. Everything cooks at 350. Why do they do? Why do they bother with all these 200s and 500s? Because I, for the cereal mix, I use two, 200, 250. It seems like everything else, every meal I've ever cooked is at 350. 350, you can get along really pretty well. Yep. Now, when, when you tip it out, I usually just go whoop and uh, now last night when they were making the sticky buns, um, both the guy who was doing it and the gal they were having a contest, um, they let them rest for about 10 or 15 minutes. But I think they'd start sticking in the cupcake uh, tins. They had a big pan of them. Yeah. I wonder if it soaks up, if some of the stuff goes up into the bread, the way they do it. Good. Well, they said that the, the sticky stuff will adhere to the to the bread better if if it gets a chance to uh, cool. Cool. And with meat too. Okay. Well, that's what's going on in here. Is that cooking okay? Wow. Ooh, they're golden. Beautiful. They're getting close to being it's ready. Perfect. Did both of the, Catherine and Monica, they both looked, didn't they? Only Catherine. What's that? Hey, Monica. Monica. I'm coming, coming, coming. Come on, you got to look at them before we take them out. Are they big enough? Oh, my God. <laughs> They're almost ready. See, they're not quite ready though. The top ones will get ready before the bottom ones. Top ones we'll have ready. to we'll have to leave the bottom ones in a little longer to get browned. Mine are the tops. Okay. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to eat six of them. Like I, I might only be able to eat four. What? Say that again. So big. I usually eat six, but these are like like this big. They're muy grande. Mucho grande. They're gross. Gross. They are very gross. You know, I used to make popovers. Those are, have you ever had a popover? Cherry? Like no. a cherry filling? No. Or meat inside? You don't, you don't. Oh, nothing? Yeah, you don't put anything inside. I remember rectangle things you used to make with little crystallized sugar, I mean, big chunks of sugar on top. Is that you? No? Were they crispy? Same flaky up. Where did you get that camera? Bruce? When did, when did you get it? I make a couple of years ago. Really? It's a nice one. Different, and the kids go, ew, this tastes weird. Well, I used oh, to make thanks. meatloaf. Your thanks. dad liked pork chops, so I'd make pork chops. You make pork chops. Is that an HD? Uh, no. What's your favorite dinner, Chris? Uh, macaroni and cheese. Whoop. Macaroni and that cheese. That is a comfort food. Uh, it's hot. Do you know, I saw this at uh, El Rancho yesterday. I've seen them advertised on Re television. Re El, El Rancho? Yeah. El Rancho. Oh, El wow. Rancho. Ralph's. Chris, this would be a great thing. You guys are going up there to go camping. We already have them. You, you don't need to refrigerate uh -uh. them? Yeah, we have a bunch of them. I, I, yeah, for emergency. Oh, or something. Yeah. That's real good. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, how long do they claim they're good for? <laughs> where, where, you have it? Yeah, where we where got the bigger them? ones. They're about this big. Where do you store it? In the cupboard. Yeah. Yeah. So here, these are good only for about a year and a half. <laughs> Sure you hit her back. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. now the top ones we gotta get out. So Mine. Bottom ones can wait a little longer. Catherine. Okay. Can we eat them? I so called that there. that one. I so called that one. That one. You like that one? I like those two. Okay, let's let these. That one in the back looks done though. That one? No, let's let it go five minutes. Yeah, just give it to a boy. <laughs> okay, we turn off that oven because that one is done. All right, now let's turn them, them over. Um, want me to flop mine? You want to? Sure. Right on to this. All right. Want to try it? Uh, here, let's put a. What you can't do it with your bare hands here in wind. Under <laughs> in case you. There. And I'll get a knife ready to put the pieces back on. Okay. Ready? There you go. Mm -hmm. Flip it fast. Flip it good. Okay. Very good. Professional. Daddy. <gasps> and then bring the pan right down oh, wait, on wait, top wait. of it. Now, let me show you something, something to grab it. So that you don't have the top Monica, are you over sure in that's the way. Yes, I'm sure grab it is. like this so that when you flip. Your so, hand so, get so get your index finger on top and your thumb underneath. There. Like there, that. That's there. good. Good. Perfect. Wait a minute. Oh, there. Right. Wonderful. You did super, super califrigid, extra oh, that one. delicious. Look at that. Watch one. it, it's very hot. If you're going to yeah. touch anything, be sure to. Hot sugar is one of the hottest things. Yeah. Ooh. It's hotter than lava. Okay, you want to do this? Is it really? No. <laughs> I believe you. Okay, you're going to do the other one? Hot sugar. Okay, fingers. Then you get to do yours. Let's see, keep, put this. Just put only the corner so that it stays yes. out of the way. And your thumb there? No. Okay, yeah, like that. Okay. That. There you go. Good job. Wow. Very, very good. And then these, wait a minute, here's one of your nuts here. It looks like these are. Oh, Scott I don't know that that oh, one yeah. up in the corner out here isn't. You guys got me all. Grandma, can I pick my? Why is there a baker's dozen? What's a baker's dozen? Thirteen. Why is there oh. a hey, hey. Oh. Okay. I got that on oh. camera. You know, <laughs> that could be a lawsuit. We got. We got. Five hundred dollars coming my evidence. way. Five thousand dollars coming oh, my way. And you'll spend, spend it on a toilet. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Grandma, can I pick mine? Sure. So we'll leave some for tomorrow. Be careful, they're very hot, though. And we can take some for tonight's dinner. That's wrong. That's Ow. wrong, wrong, wrong. Will you be cooking some tomorrow so we can smell when we wake up? <laughs> No, we always I smell them every Christmas morning. It won't be the I same. I don't plan on it. But it won't be the same. What? You're going to do it. You'll do it. I'll be up at 4 o'clock. <laughs> I'll start okay. It. You tell it. Remember when we were out at the lake last time? You, for It must have been for the for Grandpa's birthday. Yeah. And uh, Mary tells the story of waking up in the cabin to the sounding of those... <laughs> hey, I was... No, this is a... Bobby Jr.'s house. I slept in on a cot in the hallway next to the kitchen. 
But were they but, grinding? Oh, they were very grinding. Good. They were making wheat. They were grinding Straight wheat. Up. And um, no, this very is a good. coffee. So the, the coffee grinding. Okay. Like every oh, but Miriam was grinding wheat. Yeah, I remember that. Grain and wheat. Yeah. Uh, I, fresh bread. I she did coffee oh, I and. Them off there. Yeah, I would need that too. Yeah, I didn't get much sleep on that trip. You With are all the, so good, both of you. I was always next to the kitchen. You. Let it drift a little bit. Because when I slept up in the cabin, mm -hmm. I was in that loft area, which okay. overlooks the kitchen. You now you wipe the these up by hand before these you... These look good, Catherine. Very good. Wipe them out by hand. So you lick 